Welcome back. In my last video, I tested my new TP100 motor. This motor is much more powerful, but also much larger in diameter than my previous motor, Type 8100. In order to integrate the motor in the existing surfboard, it had to be made higher. You can already see the surrounding frame here. I would like to start with the conversion at the tail. I was slightly concerned that the nozzle would not be horizontal to the water surface to the curved shape of the board, like a banana shape. This can result in a slight loss of performance. I have made the sketch to make it easier to understand. In the sketch you can see the board with the water nozzle angled slightly upwards. The water flow is the action and the reaction is the acceleration of the board forwards. In my case not exactly forwards, but at the same angle as the nozzle in the direction of the water surface. The reaction arrow should be point parallel to the waterline without the board being angled. Therefore, the board is now cut and the nozzle is rewrapped parallel to the waterline. The board is very stiff. I was able to shape it into the desired form using wooden wedges. Afterwards, it was laminated with fiberglass mats. I extended the board underneath the nozzle so that the weight of the board doesn't rest on the nozzle when I stand up the board upright. To create a sharp tier of edge, colored epoxy resin was poured into the required areas. At this point I'm done and I will move on the top of the board. As I already said, the board had to be higher because of the larger motor. The sharp edge that has now been acquired needs to be filled. I had some form left over from a previous attempt, which I roughly cut to size. The material is easy to work with, but it was still quite a lot of work. Maybe you have an easier solution than the form. Let me know in the comments. The next few minutes are self-explanatory. So I will say goodbye now. They are driving videos at the end. I think it's finally fast enough. Likes and subscriptions are welcome.